What's up guys? It's Warren here from Addictive Gaming Tutorials and the first thing I want to go over with you is the translate method to move this object across the screen. So the way we're going to do this is using the translate method and we're not going to focus on the rigid body at box or any of those. So basically I want to show you how to do it. So firstly we only have a bird here which is animated. We have a sprite render animation and a fly script attached to it which is this fly script here, which is empty. So let's open up this. So to move the bird across the screen, what we want to do is get a speed variable. So we're going to call this speed and let's initialize it to something like five. And to start, we're going to okay, go to the update and we're going to say move bird right. And for this function, we're going to move bird right, and we're going to transform dot translate, and then we want to get our speed variable multiplied by time dot delta. Time. This is going to allow it to move smoothly across the screen, and we are moving in the x and y direction, so that should be fine. Let's run it, and we have a. So I forgot void return time. So as we can see now, our bird will move across the screen. But this bird will move forever unless we change its positions. So what we want to do now is open up the script again. And we want to change, so we want to add a few things. So basically we will need to add a sprite renderer which would allow us to flip the bird whenever it moves across the screen. So we have two main points here. We have our x value, which you can see is around 7 at the end of the screen, and we have minus 7. So basically we want this bird to move back and forth. So let's get to that. So right now we are going to we'll going to create a boolean switch called switch. We can't use switch because it's already a variable used. So we're going to we're going to say that's true, and then we want to create a private sprite renderer. And yeah, and so we want to get its component. So we're going to say sprite render is equal to get component, and we want sprite render. That should get the component. So here we want to say. If so, if this is true, we want to move the bird right. And if this is false, we want to move the bird left. We don't have this method yet, so we want to create that. So let's create this method and so basically we just want to change the speed in the we just want to translate in the opposite direction. So we use the minus. 
the next part we want to do is change the switch. So if transform dot position, so we want our x position. If this is greater than or equal to 7f, which we have checked the coordinates, this is the end of the screen. We want our switch to be false and we want the sprite renderer to flip. So this really means that as soon as our object reaches the end of the screen, we change the switch to false, which means it's going to start moving backwards and our sprite will flip the other way. So we're going to copy this. Then this means if if our position goes beyond this end of the screen at the start of so we're going to the negative far negative region minus eight minus nine, we want our switch to remain true, which will move it back to the positive direction and flip it back. So let's see if this works. So right now we have an error. And so this should be fine. So there we go, our boy is moving and it hits seven and it switches. It switches again. So as you can see. Our script works perfectly, and that's the end of the tutorial. So guys, hit the subscribe button for more tutorials on Unity and C Sharp. Thanks for watching.